welcome back to a, another workout. Today is going to be a lower body burn. The fun thing about this exercise or this workout in total is that there's absolutely no equipment except if you want a resistance band, which I will be using. Um, but without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm going to wear my resistance band. I'm gonna throw it over my knees. Good, we're gonna start by getting in a nice low squat. Keep that tension in that resistance band the entire time. Good. Come on to the other side. And once we get back to that beginning situation, we're going to go ahead into three fast squats. Hold the last one back down at the ground, and we're gonna walk back this way. We only have two rounds here. We're gonna engage our core. Good, give me three, two, one. Hold at the bottom. Good, feel that tension. The lower that band is on those knees, the better. Feel that burn. Good. So good. Keep that band where it is. We're going into a little stagger position, so almost like a lunge, but your feet are not as wide. Your weight is going over that front heel and that front leg. Good. You're going to go ahead into a lunge and then bring it back. We're not going into like a full back lunge. This is just a smaller movement. Your weight is over that front heel and squeeze. Good. Your front knee never straightens all the way. There's always tension here and squeeze, push down through that front heel. Are you feeling it in that glute? I know, push through. Good. Breathe here. Good. Amazing. Obviously, we're going into, you know what? We're gonna stay on this leg. We're going to push all the way out into a single leg knee drive here. Good. I wanna really burn out this leg. And then we'll do it all on the other side, engage that core. All the way out, make sure those hips are not twisted or lifted. You should be really feeling this in that glue. I know it burns, I'm here, I'm doing it with you. I know and squeeze, engage that core. If you need to grab a wall, this is the time to do so. Squeeze, good, and bring it in. You got it. Reach as far out as you can and squeeze that knee all the way in. Oh no, I'm falling. <laughs> Breathe. Good, and now we're gonna go ahead on the other side. So that left leg is going to be in front. That back right leg is going to be staggered. Your weight is shifted over that front heel. And we begin. Good, we bend and straighten. Engage that core, breathe here. It's crazy what a resistance band or even no equipment can make you feel. You don't need a lot. You can do this workout anywhere and it's only 15 minutes. That's all I need from you, it's 15 minutes. You got it, halfway. Remember to not straighten that front knee all the way. And squeeze, press down through that heel. Feel your glute being the thing that's activated. Getting yourself all the way up, you got it. Good, shifting that weight forward. And in 50 seconds, we're gonna begin with that single leg dead swing to that knee drive. You've got it, we begin in six seconds. Three, I know it burns. Good, extend it all the way out and drive that knee in. You've got it. So good. Press that weight down in that front heel and squeeze on the way up. Halfway. Good. That band rise up, that's okay. Squeeze. 
so good keeping that band right under your ankles. You're going to stay in a nice low squat, shifting that weight over one side. For me, I'm gonna do my left side. Put your toes down and we're just going out and bring it in. Make sure it's not coming all the way in. Make sure there's tension in this resistance band the entire time we bring it out and in. You got it. So good. I know it burns. Keep going. Don't stop. This is where those muscles grow. This is where the good stuff happens. The good endorphins get released. Breathe. So good. So good. In the 15 seconds, we're going on to the other side. And then we have one more exercise left. We repeat everything once more, and you guys are done, okay? So we only have to do these exercises one, two times through. Good, bring it out, and bring it in. Keep that tension in that band, and bring it in. Good, find that resistance. Good, and in. Squeeze, press down through that heel. Push those hips back. You guys are killing it, keep going. I know it burns. Almost there. Ooh, you guys have 15 seconds. Let it burn. You got it. Good. Press your weight down in that heel. Don't let that form get compromised. Good. Our last exercise, we are getting that heart rate up. We're going into some squat jumps. So, staying nice and low. I want you to think about squeezing back, 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 and jump all the way up, okay? Now, if these squat jumps are too intense, feel free to just give me fast squats or come all the way up on your toes. Other than that, I want you to push yourself. You're only here for two rounds. You're only here for 45 seconds. You breathe and you push. You got it. Halfway. Push. You got it. I know it burns. I'm here with you. Let's go. If there's any knee pain, remember you always have the option not to jump. Breathe. Good. Take that 20 second rest and we're gonna repeat everything back at the top once more and you guys are done. You got it, push through. I am sweating and out of breath. You got it. Whew, we begin in three. Good, stay nice and low. Sit back in a chair. This is the last round, so I want you guys to give me all you have. Two and three. Nice and low, we walk. Two, bring it side. For two, give me squat. Two, three, and stay low. Walk, two, good. We are building that endurance. We are feeling that fire in our legs. You got it. So good. Stay low. Breathe here. You're almost there. So good. Take that 15 seconds. We go into our single leg stagger lunge into our single leg deadlifts. Breathe. Good. For these, I want you going as slow as possible. Our heart rate is up. I want you feeling that tension now. Here you go. Please. Remember not to extend that front leg all the way. There's tension. You're pressing down in that front heel. So good. Good. There shouldn't be much weight in that back foot either. Really, it's just there to help you stabilize. I use it as like a kickstand. Good. Keep going. This is your workout. 
This is the last time you have to do this. Good, stay low, keep that tension in that front knee. I want you to hold. We're going into those single leg deadlifts. Keep that weight pushed over. I know it's burning, keep it up. I know I took that break away from you. You got it, breathe out all the way and bring it in. Engage that core. When that knee drives in, your core engages. Breathe, extend out, in and out. Use that breath here. You need that breath to support your muscles. You're halfway there and we'll bring it on to the other side. You guys are so close to being done. Keep going. Breathe. Hold on to that wall if you need it. Take that band off if you need it. Breathe. Good. Take that 15 seconds. We're going on to that other side. Breathe. Your girl is sweaty. Wowzers. All you truly need is 15 minutes. Isn't that crazy? Crazy. Press down into that heel. Good. Fire up that tension. You're halfway done here. You guys are so close to being done. I need you guys to push. Breathe, use your breath. Get in your zone. Good, hold right here. I know I'm taking that 15 seconds away from you. Push the tension in your front heel, in that front glute. Engage that core, you're almost there. Hold it for three more seconds. Breathe. Good, we lean forward, put all our weight in that front left heel, press that knee in and extend it all the way. Good, remember to keep your hips nice and squared. I know it's a lot of stability, grab that wall if you need it. Whew. And in, and in, you got it. Halfway, and we got our taps. So good, bring that band down to your ankles. Keep tension in that band the entire time. I'm gonna come onto this side first. We bend, we keep that tension in that front leg. We extend all the way out and bring it back in, nice and slow. I don't want the band slinging back in, okay? I want you keeping the tension the entire time. Good. And in, you guys are killing it, keep it up. You got it, I know it burns. I'm here with you. We power through, power through together. You got it. that 15 seconds, we're going on to that other side. You guys, we have two more exercises left and you are done. You completed this 15 minute burner and I emphasize a burner because oh, wowzers. Woo. Good. And in, so good. I want you to engage that core. I know your glute is burning, but I want you to think about firing that core. It's all connected and bring it in. You got it. And press that weight down into that heel. You got it. So, so 
Okay. You're here for five. Keep giving it to me. You got it. So good. Throw that band on top of your knees. We are finishing off with these squat jumps. You guys don't lose this form on me. I know it's tough. This is the last exercise we have. Keep going strong. End it on the most powerful, powerful note. If you did not jump last round, I encourage you to give me a little jump if you have no knee or back or hip or ankle pain. Good. Or any pain of that matter. Good. Fire it up. You've got it. How high can you jump? Good. Can you go higher? Can you push yourself? Can you get lower? You're halfway there. How hard can you push? Let's go. You're almost done. Breathe. Let it burn. I'm here with you. Let's go. Congratulations. You guys completed a 15 minute lower body burner. Wow. Enjoy the rest of your day or evening. I'm proud of you for getting through. Make sure that you did a proper cool down or are going to do a proper cool down and I will see you in the next video.